and I will click start and you guys will see how easy and fast this attack is I'll click here and start one two three go Hi, I'm Marcelo from Security System Center, a channel that brings you valuable information about video surveillance, access control and intrusion. Today we will talk about a delicate topic, where several people may still don't know how insecure they are with their current video surveillance solution. The purpose of this video is to understand the weak points on the Wi-Fi security cameras, so we can decide whittling if you still want to keep using it. Jamming or hacking cameras and networks without permission is illegal. This channel is strictly educational for learning about security systems and how we can protect ourselves against the real hackers or burglars. Easy to install, just a few screws, only power it, and some others will actually be battery powered. And that's it, your family or your small business is safe. Hmm, really? So initially, let's get a baseline understanding about what is a true video surveillance system and what is a simple monitoring one. When we say video surveillance, we are talking about a robust system that we can rely on, with redundancies on communication or power supply that can be immune to attacks attempt. We know that there is no 100% fail-proof system, but we can have components that make very difficult to a person temper or disable the system. Sure, for home security, we don't see us passing Ethernet cables through the walls, ceiling, especially when the house is already built. But there are a few ways to install where the finished installation is imperceptible or is mixed with the decor layout. But we can't forget that we have another type of system, which is a simple monitoring or comfort monitoring. This type of system is, is only to bring awareness to the homeowner or to the small store manager. If someone is in the specific area, if the car is parked outside or at the garage and etc. I would say for these systems, it's okay to have a Wi-Fi camera. You will not be in danger if something happens. But the problem is when you rely on the system to have your family or your business safe, thinking you receive notifications anytime something happens where you're out working or traveling. So let's review the six reasons to stop using your Wi-Fi camera right now or stop providing it as a solution in your projects. The most important reason is at the end of this video. Okay, so the first reason is the network bandwidth. When you install a Wi-Fi camera, you normally don't think about your network performance or plan and implement new devices to handle this traffic. New cameras are being released constantly, each time with more resolution and the bit hate to use it when the stream is open in your phone or if the camera is pushing clips to the cloud, it's getting higher and higher. Thinking in a standard home scenario, we will have the ISP Wi-Fi router in a more centralized part of the house and maybe some Wi-Fi expanders in the border area, repeaters that decrease the bandwidth by half depending on the technology. So we would have a TV with streaming service, mobile phones connected, game consoles, online gaming PCs, smart devices and your Wi-Fi camera. Normally it's just not one, so now you get the picture. If you have too many cameras streaming at the same time, you see a network performance drop. When we talk about wired cameras, especially IP cameras via PoE, where the power is being transmitted in the same data cable, we have the opportunity to have the power backup device in the NVR that it will be able to continue to operate for a few minutes or hours, depending on its power. These devices are called UPS, uninterruptive power supply or no brakes, which are relatively cheap and give more stability and security to your system. Yes, we have some 12 volts power supply devices with battery inside that you could use on Wi-Fi cameras, but these are big ones that probably will be unable to hide in a junction box and you need uh, one per camera, increasing the, the installation cost. A few Wi-Fi cameras models have a built-in battery, so it will not require any wire. It's a good solution for specific installations, but it will be one more equipment that you need to remind to recharge the batteries. And if the battery went dead when you are traveling, when we have one or two cameras in the system, it's easy to review the playback if something happened, like a break-in, because you will not have too many video resources to jump in to see the event sequence. 
but imagine that you have four a 10 cameras and you need to follow the burglar steps to check if the person showed their face you need to switch between several cameras feed and make a huge effort to do a simple task where you can do very easily when you connect to an NVR and do a simultaneous playback. And what about the storage? Recording everything on an SD card and the camera don't seem to be a secure location, right? We do have the cloud service that can host event clips for us. Yes, but two remarks on this. First, you have a delay between having the event and having the clip saved in the cloud. If something happens with the camera in this period, you not have your clip there. And the other is about the cost. How much it costs to have all event clips for all your cameras? What is the limit in the resolutions and on days? Most of the Wi-Fi cameras are connected directly to a cloud monitoring server or a P2P server, so we can easily connect to it by adding the camera via QR code, right? Considering this type of connection, excluding some exceptions, you don't have a local direct access to the camera. This means that no internet, no video. So if you are at your house and the burglar cut your ISP cable, you lose your eyes outside when you need it most. And for our big finale, security. I thought twice to do this because it's scary how easy and effective this attack is. Again, jamming or hacking cameras and networks without permission is illegal. So if you don't own the network or the camera, don't do this. It's illegal and you're responsible for any consequences. I am bringing here this information for educational purpose and to you to understand the risk you have with this type of devices. Let's review the network architecture here in my lab. We have a router with internet access that I will simulate as my ISP router. Here we have the Wi-Fi camera connected to this router and working. And here is our little guy, a Wi-Fi deauthentication device. This is not considered a jammer but a device that exploits a vulnerability. The IEEE 802.11 Wi-Fi protocol contains the provision for a deauthentication frame. Sending the frame from the access point to a station is called a sanctioned technique to inform a rogue station that they have been disconnected from the network. This attack can send a deauthentication frame at any time to the Wi-Fi router with a spoofed address for the victim. The protocol does not require any encryption for this frame, even when the session was established with WEP, WPA, or WPA2 for that privacy. And it only needs to know the target MAC address, which is available in the clear through wireless network sniffing. So to recap, this is attacking the Wi-Fi access point, not the camera. No matter how secure the camera is, is still under the Wi-Fi protocol with the router and it will be vulnerable as well. So let's start the attack. Okay, so let's start our attack. We have here the camera, camera working. Uh, we have our device connected here and we, we are browsing its web interface. Uh, we, we scan here the the, the networks and we have our security system center lab here so let's select this one go to attack and in the d -off attack i will click here start so i will put here the camera next here to the computer so we have here everything working and i will click start and you guys will see how easy and fast this attack is i'll click in start one two three go <laughs> it's incredible how fast this attack is so when it turns here to the red dot it means that it's already offline and here it's, it's, it's saying that it's impossible to it's not possible to transmit video try again it will not load because it's you know it's totally offline in the in the network. So this little guy here is attacking this Wi-Fi router and the authentication all devices connected on this uh, uh, router. This type of attack can be like to all devices connected on this Wi-Fi router or to a specific one. Uh, we can search for a, a stations connected and attack specifically this camera or other devices. 
so it's still red i will stop i will stop here detect and after a few seconds it can take more time but let's see so yeah it's it's already working again it's we have another type of device that can disable the wi-fi cameras which is the wi-fi jammer this device can create a noise in the wi-fi frequencies being possible to the devices to transfer data when it's active this is more like a brute force type of attack that will disable all networks in the area as a side note both type of devices are small portable and the robber can have it on their pocket during the break-in the big issue with these attacks on the wi-fi cameras is how easy it is the camera will not have time to report any event or video clip prior to the attack and it will be helpless against the burglar they will be able to calmly approach the camera, disconnect the power source, remove the SD card and move to the next camera. There will be no records on their actions. That's all guys, I hope you could have a good understanding about the risks to have a Wi-Fi camera in your home or in your small office or store. But don't get me wrong, I don't hate Wi-Fi cameras, really. I actually have one at my front door. But again, here where I live is a condominium where it has its own security systems. This camera is just for comfort monitoring to see if we have someone at my front door. You now have the knowledge and you are able to understand, in your case, what level these components will affect you. It's important if you are a professional installer to share this information with your customer when they are trying to push the Wi-Fi solution. Hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next video.